with so many persons who are graduating today it's, it's wonderful to see so many uh, students they will have worked hard they completed their coursework they got good grades they made the sacrifices and those are beautiful things that students will have done they really put in the time the energy and the effort and now they have graduated ready to enter into the world of work but some of them are actually feeling quite scared scared in that what they taught the world of work to be is proving to be something else so some students who have actually tried to apply for jobs are realizing that it's a bit difficult to actually get into a number of those jobs and the reasons being they're asking for experience and so forth but what some students are discovering is that the jobs that they trained for that they went to school for is actually disappearing or if not disappearing altogether the skill set that is now being called upon are skill sets that they were not prepared for when they went to school what some young people are discovering too is that the jobs that they were so focused on in attaining from young growing up are jobs that they will have seen either their fathers or grandfathers enter into their moms aunts or aunties went into a specific kind of jobs so those students will have gone to school with the mindset that these are jobs that males do these are jobs that females do so that kind of gender specific jobs so some students who actually uh, graduated and enter into the world of work and end up in some of those jobs are discovering that it's really not fulfilling and they will have preferred to do a job that possibly will have been in their minds done by someone of another gender so the question therefore is are students being given the information that there are a number of jobs out there and jobs that are also out there are also morphing or changing or there are new skill sets that are required in order to do some of those very same jobs that 10 15 20 years ago those skill sets were not necessary is it that this information is being transmitted to the student well the encouragement is that if you work in the field of education you might be a teacher maybe a guidance counselor or someone who is into correct guidance to help students to realize that there are so many different jobs out there not just the conventional lawyer doctor um, and that's it but there are a number of other jobs out there that they will have access to and they can have access to including creating their own employment now the thing is even though the doctors and the lawyers are out there and we need them some students are really unfamiliar exactly what a doctor does so they may say i want to be a doctor i want to be a lawyer but what kind of lawyer do you want to be what kind of doc what kind of patients do you want to treat do you want to treat children adults teenagers do you want to um work in a specific area maybe it's cardiology or urology so if you are a student and you are about to graduate or you have already graduated these are some areas in which i will suggest you can explore so take for example the first one to google careers so you go on the internet and you check out different types of careers so it's possible that you want to get into medicine uh, what you can do you can type in um, types of medical careers and you might see hundreds of different kinds of medical careers you can get into so if it's nursing there are different types of nurses if it is in dentistry there are different specialties in dentistry if it is in psychology there are different kinds of specialties and niches in psychology so there's a wide range of information that you can get in one specific career so yes there is a specialty but there might be niches or smaller focused area in those specialties that you might be interested in and can get in, in and can get into another thing you can do is look at sports so you type in different kinds of sports that um, sports careers and you might even see uh, specific types of sports specific types 
of careers management, sports management. Um, you might even see sports psychology. You might even see areas where you can go into sports medicine, um, into coaching. So there's so much information available when you Google it. Another thing you can also do is to Google the salaries. Now it's true that based on the specific country that you live in, you may have to do some math with regards to the conversion of the currency that you Google salaries and you see what are some of the salaries that might be paid to a person who is in a particular area of, of study or particular field career-wise and you can one determine it that's where you want to go based on how much is being paid or uh, you can also determine uh, if it is an area that you do not want to go into uh, i know that some persons they may say you know what high paying jobs that's not what is going to bring me fulfillment what is going to bring me fulfillment is i get up every morning i get dressed and i go and i, I actually help people or if you're not working directly with people i sit behind the computer i do coding i do analysis and that is what brings them joy a matter of fact some of those very same persons will say uh, while it's true they're happy that they're getting paid it pays the bills it keeps them um, healthy they're able to buy food and so forth it's just the passion that the job brings so people will go into specific careers for different things but what i will say is that whatever career you choose uh, make certain that you can see yourself in it for a little while for a few years it is true that you may, ch you may change careers and that's fine people change careers all the time you can be a mechanic for 10 years and then decide you want to go to medical school and start studying for medical school probably it's not the path that most persons who end up into medical school will take but there are people who in their 40s or 50s have gone to medical school you may be in banking or finance that's what you wanted to get into eventually five years ten years down the road 15 years down the road if you want to switch and get into school counseling or guidance counseling you can do that that's fine you just have to know that whatever area you choose to get into one is possible that you can change your mind and that's okay and two, if you do change your mind, you whatever you get into, you work at it and try to find fulfillment in it. What I will suggest to a number of persons who are graduating, number of students, you're graduating, you're leaving school, uh, try to see even before. So if you're listening to this and you have not graduated as yet, maybe you have some time still, you have a few years to go, you probably have two or three years, or maybe you are graduating soon or have already graduated uh, but is not as yet in the world of work try to see how best you can understand uh, digital the digital world i know that a number of us yes we use our tablets we use our computers we use apps we surf the internet but try to see if you can use your technology for example in this way how some software work microsoft a PowerPoint, a Word document, you want to be able to understand how to use uh, the Gmail apps, the drives, you want to know how to how to send emails. These are some of the things you want to be able to learn because it is so important that as we move forward in this world of technology, of course, these things will continue to change, it will continue to be upgraded. But having an understanding of how these communication software, how these software that is used for uh, PowerPoint presentations, how these software that is used to type notes or to type uh, words or letters, uh, knowing how they work will be very important because in the world of work as a dentist or a doctor or an attorney, um, even as a person who me claim well you know i don't need to work with these different kinds of software because i'm going to be a mechanic working with excel or working with sheets documents to be able to take notes as to where your expenses are going where how many how how well, what kind of profits you're getting to be able to chart that will be so important in growing and developing your business so understanding how these software work or getting some help 
from someone who understands how they work will be so important as a student who is about to graduate or maybe you have already graduated. You're looking for work, take this opportunity to play around with it a little bit, understand how these apps and these software work so that when you enter into the world of work, you will go in there with some additional skills. Graphic designs. There are a lot of free software out there that you can use to practice graphic designing. And that is a wonderful skill that you want to have going forward. You want to be able to do some editing, be it you do um, editing for vocal editing or you do picture editing or video editing. Those are some skills that no doubt you will want to at least have some kind of uh, control or command on because going forward, we are living in a digital world. This is it. We're not going back. This is where we're moving right now. And I think the period during um, COVID-19 has shown a number of countries, for example, in the area of school, in the area of insurance and banking, in the areas of even uh, sales, uh, a number of people, they are now picking up the phone and dialing a number and say, hey, you know what? I want my groceries delivered to my doorstep. Yes, that was always something that was there for a little while. But more so now than ever, you are seeing persons who are doing that. Now, that in itself is a business. And uh, if you want to get into something like that, that's, that's fine. That's actually commendable. A matter of fact, as you look at where the world is going right now, a number of the jobs that we have, one research has showed that 64 64 65 percent of jobs that we have right now will not exist very soon they will be replaced by new jobs they will be replaced by different jobs um, and we have to be prepared for that movement so going online as a student and checking out different kind of jobs or um, in a year time what might people need um, looking to at some of the issues that the world is experiencing right now in the in the way of technology finance and banking in the way of counseling uh, today even for a number of therapists counselors psychologists psychiatrists uh, and even medical practitioners they're using the technology such as um, zoom to talk with their patients they are using WhatsApp to communicate to their patients and, and so forth. You have some options as a student. You have the opportunity to check out careers. You have the opportunity to also talk to your guidance counselor in school. And you also have the opportunity to, yes, still talk to persons who are in specific careers, the adults, to get a sense of how they enjoy their career but also try to understand what could you see yourself doing for 5, 10, 15 years. Um, is this something you can see yourself getting up every morning and doing? It does bring with it some level of nervousness. Uh, this is not an area you, you have been in before. You're a young person, you're now graduating, you're now leaving school or probably just left school and you're looking for jobs. Uh, but know that whatever job you 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 choose um, you can change in the future if you choose to but work to the best of your ability so until take care i'll see you again